years I've been talking about mixing glass mechanics with my bartenders. The mixing glass mechanics utilizes the Boston shaker glass as the, uh, the center focus, the center vessel, and actually the center measuring tool in stirring, shaking, and blending cocktails. Uh, I'm going to stir a drink first. This is a great vessel for stirring drinks in. It's a beautiful pitcher. In the, uh, in the event that you don't have the luxury of having these tools and all you have is your Boston, your pint glass, whatever you want to call it, uh, this is the mixing glass mechanics. My favorite drink is the chocolate old fashioned. I'm going to start off with some agave nectar. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite drinks. It's a take on an old fashioned or a riff on an old fashioned, if you will. A couple of dashes of chocolate bitters. Putting the least expensive ingredients in first, if you can. So after the chocolate bitters, we move on to a really fine bourbon. Make sure it's good quality bourbon. And two ounces-ish in there. So before I add the ice cubes, because agave nectar is so thick, and when you add ice cubes to it, it can kind of congeal, I want to stir it into the bourbon. Make sure it dilutes in the bourbon before I get to stirring. Very good. Very good. A few ice cubes to get things started. When we're stirring cocktails, we don't use uh, lemon juice, lime juice, or any citrus, uh, nor uh, egg whites. Usually it's Manhattan's Old Fashions, drinks that only have spirit in them. Spirit and maybe a syrup or some bitters. There's one round. Perhaps for dramatics, perhaps just for additional dilution. I go for my second helping of ice and stir it around. It actually changes the tone a little bit. Now that I've diluted it as much as I, as the bartender, think it needs to be diluted, I get to strain it over fresh ice. Now today I have prepared great ice for us. Here's a big round cube of ice. I've prepared an ice ball with a beautiful little flower inside there, a nice rose. Again, the julep strainer goes on the glass, the Hawthorne strainer goes on the shaker, depending on where you want to strain from. So anytime I'm straining from the glass, I want to use the julep strainer. Directly over top of that large ball of ice. So whether you're using a ball of ice or a large block of ice or a large cube, the idea of using a, a large piece of ice is to reduce the surface area that the ice has in the drink. When getting an orange zest, you just want to take the rind off the outside of the orange. These navel oranges are great because they have great deep pores and there's lots of essential oils and flavors inside those pores. Here I go, I'm going to squeeze it right over top. You can see those essential oils that the light is just right. Squirting over top of the drink and it really changes the drink. And we'll wipe it around the edge of the glass before we're dropping that in. And there is the chocolate old fashioned. Stirred using the mixing glass mechanics. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys and taking you on my journey around the world just making cocktails. Ring that little bell apparently as well. I have no idea what it does, but ring the little bell anyway. We're going to learn this as we go.